Amen. Praise the Lord. Man, woman, boys and girls. Hallelujah. God is so good to us. Mm. Make sure you give your life to Jesus Christ. Mm, for eternal life. Praise God. Our arch enemy is swooping up. Satan is swooping up to destroy a lot of souls. I want you to check out this recent YouTube that I watch. Watch it and read it. Mm. It's done, I believe, in another language, but the word is up for you to read. Take your time and read it. Pause it and read. That's YouTube, Lucifer. Go to YouTube, Lucifer, White House, a meeting under the Atlantic Ocean 3. That's Lucifer, White House, a meeting under the Atlantic Ocean 3, number 3. That's YouTube, go on the World Wide Web, it will come up. YouTube, Lucifer, White House, a meeting under the Atlantic Ocean 3. Mm. The devil is here to destroy. He's trying to start World War 3 to bring the total destruction, annihilation of people. Bringing him millions, billions of people into hell. But God shut it down. He intended was to lead the whole world in the lake of fire with him. Oh, that's where he's going. This war, World War, uh, this war was planned long time ago. This is this is uh, from the story uh, on the YouTube. The Lord showed this guy was in. He was an agent of Satan. So he's telling us the plan of Satan. This war was planned long time ago. Demons help researchers and scientists around the world to discover weapons that can wipe out the human race in seconds. You see how the devil plan? Total destruction. Mm. The devil control all governments of the world. His demons that he sent in human flesh on earth have installed space shuttles of all kind to control humanity. Television around the world are controlled by the devil. You hear that? Television around the world co are controlled by the devil. And I watch other YouTube in which I hear warning that they mentioned that Jesus said he hate television movies. And now I understand clearly. All these movies, the devil is behind. They, they include category, two categories of employment. Television throughout the world are controlled by the devil. They include two categories. The fellow was saying, employee. Two categories, employee. First, ordinary demons. Then demon that came in human flesh in the world and normal humans, regular humans. They manipulate image, images, attach demons on these Images transfer the demons on the, view, on the viewers. So they manipulate the images, the TV, uh, and the screening and the recording and all of that. Then uh, transfer it on the viewers. These images are, are loaded with demons that are transmitted to the viewers by the other class of employees who are human technicians. So you see, these human technicians make up the movie. Uh, are these commercials or whatever program, but behind it is demon, demonic. And they are controlled. The technicians and the journalists are controlled. And they put in all these transferring all of these demonic stuff to us, the viewers. Thus, the viewers, simply by watching these pictures, can, can receive, without knowing, demons of lust. 
we see it in all kind of commercial men and f females they use um to as attraction to sell product or even in the movie distraction distraction sexual immorality envy gluttony pride blasphemy against the holy spirit so all these is intention to blaspheme against the holy spirit idolatry and all of that these demons of idolatry that be it money or husband wife a trade <coughs> wealth magic prote protection Christian that watch these image TV movies, they are loaded with demons. Receive many kinds of demons and, and spiritual weakness and heaviness. So you might find yourself weak and heavy. You watch a lot of television uh, because it's, it's being injected by demons. And when we watch it, uh, come into us television is a powerful weapon of satan to fight not only pagans but also christians the devil want everyone to be infected by these images loaded with demons so you open your portal when you watch these tv or um movies or um by um, by demons Wow, isn't that something? We must not watch TV. You cannot just watch any and anything on TV. Watch Christian movies, programs that had intention to give us the word. Mm. No discovery inspired by the wisdom of God can lead people to disaster any deadly discovery comes from the devil when we discover um, the atomic bombs and nuclear weapons and to destroy it come from the devil that's what he's saying see he was an agent of the devil in which he goes right where the devil was in the devil's living space and the devil you have to watch it yourself uh, and the devil may deal with him because the devil deal, uh, work with human too satanists um, devil worshippers and um, uh, uh, illuminati all of those uh, uh, illuminati illuminati if you watch uh, the, the illuminati um, youtube you'll discover that uh, although Satan was the bright one, now he's the dark one. But they're still worshiping in him as the bright one. Illuminate. means bright. But he's no more the bright one. He's the dark one now, since he's been kicked out of heaven. Satan have a giant screen. He can observe all activities of battalions of demons in the world. And so this is a warfare. A lot of people don't think it's a warfare. And they die and end up in hell. Millions in hell. The scripture said hell has enlarged in itself. Um, so, but the scripture, this, this Christian know that this is supposed to be a war of fear. Uh, it's a uh, war um, for your soul. The Lord is trying to save us. The devil is trying to destroy us. Mm. So make sure you check out the YouTube. If you find this on this YouTube, this is deep. This YouTube is deep. I, 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 this is another angle for me. Uh, you know, sometimes we know we've, and we figure we have some observation, but when we see it plain written and um, see it clear like this, this fellow was an agent of the devil. Just like a lot of agents, millions of agents out there of the devil deceiving people. And, and there's demons that take um, hu human form and then demons that control human. Uh, that, um, that working for the devil. So it's YouTube, Lucifer, White House, a meeting under the Atlantic Ocean 3. 
Let's check it out. It's very deep. It's more than all what I've um, written down. So, this is just some note that I've written down. Uh, so watch it for yourself. You YouTube, Lucifer White House. Just like how we have the White House in Washington, D.C. It's Lucifer White House, uh, a meeting under the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. So, praise God. Amen. Um, Jesus Christ is coming back anytime now. Make sure you don't take that RFID chip, that microchip. Make sure you don't love um, the, the, the beasts, uh, these world systems that they set together. Uh, want to know everything about you and put install microchip in your body uh, and all kind of stuff. Uh, that's the beast system. They try to um, push that in Jamaica and... Thank God the Jamaican people is aware of it, but most of them uh, have been speaking out. Just some have been speaking out, speak out on that system that they try to um, implant, um, set up down there with ID and scanning and all kind of stuff. But however, <coughs> Jesus Christ is due to show up anytime now, the rapture. And it's going to be devastating for those that are left behind. So make sure you give your life to Jesus Christ now. And live holy. Live a repentant repentance life. Because we sin often. <clears throat> so humble yourself, repent. And repent con uh, continually. Live for the Lord. And minister to others. Tell others. So that they can be saved. They can escape the destruction that is coming. The Bible describes it that there has never been such destruction in the in the world of what is coming. People never see it on that level. Yeah. So and then you know they're gonna as we're they're gonna bring bring in full fledged uh, the beast, which is Obama and them. Uh, he come up with a system, Obamacare or affordable health care, that make it mandatory for everyone to take the microchip. I heard that. Um, uh, Prince William bought company bought out Obamacare in another vid, uh, YouTube I watch, in which they says that um, he's the uh, United Nation is looking for him to take the lead uh, in um, bringing the one world government, new world order. Um, so they try to put it all together. Uh, so it's Obama and them, uh, Prince William, uh, uh, the religious leader, which is the, the um, the, un the false prophet, which is a religious leader, that's well popular with religious leader, is, they said it's the Pope. But um, they all is doing the sa Satan's bidding. Uh, in order to escape that, you must resist it. Don't take the microchip because you cannot be saved. I watched, um, int uh, if you go to YouTube, interview with, with, um, with Lucifer, uh, interview with Lucifer. Uh, this young lady also who was a Satanist or devil worshiper, um, and, and they get they have the inside um, sight in which they're working for the devil, so they know what's going on. Um, but so she said when she, during that time when she was working for the devil as devil devil's agent, uh, she have no fear and no repentance, no 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 remorse. So now we understand in Revelation chapter 13, Revelation chapter 14, Revelation 19, 20, 21, 22, it tells us that you cannot be saved when you take the, um, the mark of the beast. Uh, you cannot be saved uh, because you're not going to have no remorse or want no desire to be saved. Or, you know, you, you become like a, a zombie. Uh, but um, you cannot be saved. But to give your life to Christ... Live for him, praise God, in order for us, for you to have eternal life. Amen. And we always read a scripture along uh, with these. We are, uh, we are at Matthew chapter 22, the 22nd chapter of Matthew. Praise God. And it holds 46 verses, I believe. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. Yes. And this is good right here. This is exemplifying God, how much God loves us. Praise God. And God sent his son Jesus Christ to save us. And so we belong to him when we give our life to Jesus Christ. 
Praise God. So it's like, it's a basically an example of marriage. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden. Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat, fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. You see, you have all these, these, these delicacies ready. Uh -huh. uh, and delicacies that, that we like in Jamaica. Curry goat, curry chicken, Lord, beef stew, Lord. Mm. Uh, over here in America, southern cooking and fried chicken and mm, cornbread and greens, Lord. And then international dishes uh, such as lasagna, pizza, ooh, spaghetti, all of that ready. But they won't come, you see. And they're coming up with all kind of excuse. People just won't give their life to Jesus Christ. God have heaven ready with, with mansion made of gold, streets of gold. But yet we want to go in our own way. Oh, this is powerful. Yes. So he sent all the servant to, to um, tell them, okay, everything is ready. Come to the marriage. You know you've been invited. Again, he sent forth other servants saying, tell them which are bidden. Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings and, and are killed and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. And these are people that know God and God's ways, especially the Jews, the Jewish people. And now Christians all over, because the whole world is aware of Jesus Christ, that um, God sent his son Jesus Christ. But they, uh, but they made light of it. They don't take it serious. And went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise, to his store, his shop. And the remnant took his servant, and entreat them spitefully, and slew them. You see, just like, like the prophet in, in early days, uh, come and warn the people, give your life to Christ, stop this wickedness, and the leaders, they, um, they inform the leaders, and they treat them bad, some of them they kill. And nowadays, you're telling people about Jesus Christ, you must be saved, and that's the only way they can be saved, but yet they dismay, they don't want to listen, they don't want to hear, and some uh, retaliate and treat you bad. In other country, they want to kill you. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. You see that? The wrath of God getting ready to pour down on this earth. Yes, God have a rightful um, place to be angry uh, uh, with what the devil is doing and what um, mankind is serving the devil uh, that created in, in his image. is taking side with the devil and his own destruction, his own demise. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. Then said he unto his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden or invited were not worthy. Go he therefore un into the highways, and as many as he shall find bid to, to the marriage. Welcome them to the marriage. Go out there and find people, the homeless, um, no matter what uh, situation they're in, the poor and all of them. So these, so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. So now, these guests now is our people are homeless and out there, they outcast and they don't have nothing. Praise God, that's a blessing. And that's, you, that's who you will find more that will accept Christ and, and, and give their life to Jesus Christ and accept God's um, salvation. Verse 11. And we read in uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 22, verse 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Oh, no, there's a, um, there's a situation here now. So that means even though you're out there homeless and, and poor, don't have nowhere, and you are invited in, uh, that means they're going to clean you up and give you some wedding garment. 
So obviously there was one um, fellow here, he don't have a wedding garment. And he said unto him, okay, the father said unto him, which is God saying unto some of us uh, that think we want, we can go to heaven anyhow that we want. We can get there in, in our own way. And he said unto him, friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. If you watch it on YouTube also, warning, God showed this man the judgment and other judgment um, of YouTube where the Lord showed these people the judgment. You see that when you stand before God, you're going to be speechless. Because you're going to know that's a solid truth what God says. And you're going to know that when you was in this life, you choose the other way than Jesus Christ, his way. And he said unto him, friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him. That means tie him up, handcuff him, bind him, chain him up. Bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into the outer darkness, into hell and lake of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. See, this is open to everyone to be saved, but only few are chosen. Only few want to follow the way of the Lord strategically. So you, you must, uh, the straight and narrow way is the way of the Lord. The broad way lead to hell and destruction. But the narrow way, uh, the straight and narrow way lead to life. You want to stick to the straight and narrow way. You don't want to go with everyone, the, the regular flow. Uh, you have to fight to go to heaven. Come on, fight against devils and demons. Verse 15, we have, because we have all power. We have God on our side. Verse 15, then, then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians. Uh, and that's Herod, Herod people which was the king at that time, the local king in that area. Uh, so they have their um, religious people, and now they have the government people with them, trying to trap Jesus, saying, Master, we know that thou art true, and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the, the person of man. See, already they know how, how he is, his personality and his preaching. Tell us, therefore, what, what think, thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute or tax unto Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt he me, he hypocrites? Two-faced or uh, say one thing and then and, and live another way. Are you crooked? Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. Show me the money that you pay for tax. Uh, that you want to collect for tax. And they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is this image and, and superscription? They said unto him, Caesar. Because uh, Caesar's pictures is on the money. Then said he unto them, Render, give, Therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Woo! You see how Jesus get out of that? You know, you have to be God in order to get out of that trick. Man, these are the religious leaders, uh, religious um, scholars that came to attack Jesus with the governmental um, people. So they got him good. but And there was no way out. But guess what? Jesus is the way. The truth and the life. Praise God. Jesus is the way. Praise God. So he, you know, they can't trap Jesus. Praise God. Mm. Jesus even put them to work. Uh, let me see the money that you're talking about with ta for, for tax. Whose um, image is on there? Uh, you know, George Washington. Well, give to them what belongs to them and give to God what belongs to God. I mean, live your life for Jesus Christ. Verse 22, when they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day came to him the Sadducees 
And it's, um, it was divided in two parts, just as, just as you have here in America, the Democrat and the Republican. The Republican tried to reserve um, the, the blessing and the wealth of America. The Democrat tried to um, have their own way of destroying, and uh, especially with Obama and all of that, what's going on. They call him the demon crap. And, and, and thank God for Trump. But Jesus Christ trumped the devil himself and Obama and them. Praise God. And by the way, the, um, Trump, um, name, um, Donald Trump, the word Trump uh, is in the Bible, which means trumpet, in two places in which Jesus Christ is coming back. When it revealed when Jesus Christ is coming back, the trumpet of, the God, of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise. You can read it for yourself in First, First Corinthians chapter 15 and First Thessalonians chapter 4. Uh, President Trump name is in the Bible. Trump. Uh, so Jesus, Trump, Obama, and Hillary, and all of them, New World Order, One World Government, Antichrist, um, set in. Praise God. This is a um, grace period in which we are in right now. Praise God. Verse 22. When they had heard these th words, how Jesus whipped them, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day came to him the Sadducees, Okay, the other form, they are more severe, and they crooked. Uh, these are the set that don't believe in heaven and angels and so on. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die, have, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother that is dead. Now there were with us seven brethren, seven brothers, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, he died. And having, to, having no issue, he had no, no children, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, He do err, not knowing the scripture nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have, have he not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Mm, that rule out a lot of things, you know, for... Um, People of other religion that's um, saying um, this is the last prophet and so on, such as Islam. Um, you have to follow the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. God, Jesus Christ, instead of the living God, is here saying that um, God himself has says, I am the God of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, uh, of Moses. You see, that goes all the way. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the Jew Jewish people and so on. So salvation is in that realm. I want to turn it around. There's no other way. By the way, if you go to YouTube, uh, Muhammad in Hell by Bora Choi, you see that Muhammad sent back a strong message that he's in hell burning in the pit. Uh, and because he did one of the worst things, trying to create a religion, be like Jesus Christ. Because he came approximately 600 years after Jesus. Um... Uh, and um, so he heard uh, about Jesus. And, and some said he come from a background of his family was uh, aware of Jesus and so on. But he come up with an uh, idea of uh, another way, Islam. And say, so he said the worst thing, they, these people is just dropping into hell. He said, they're killing off each other and killing off people throughout the world and dropping into hell. It's the worst thing. Watch it for yourself, Muhammad in Hell by Bo Rachoy. Uh, that's live. And I know these things is real. Um, these researches that I'm doing of people dying and going to hell are the Lord revealing to people um, through vision, and um, and it has been said that in, said in in Joel uh, that in the last days uh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, the old man shall dream dream, young man see vision. Yeah, so it's real. Yes, God said, I am the God of Abraham and of the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. 
And when the, the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Mm, another sect gathered together to try to challenge Jesus. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, so you know, you have to be sharp now um, to be a lawyer. Are you fighting for people and fighting against opposition and so on? Whether the right way or the wrong way, using your skills and education and knowledge. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And if you notice, the root word in all this sentence is love. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Whoever you come up, come up, um, get in contact with, shall love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh, and these two commands, commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathering together, Jesus asked, saying, What think he of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. And this Christ is the anointed one, the Savior of Israel and of the world. And some said he's the son of David. And Jesus is direct lineage of David. So that's why he's the son of God. Uh, the Christ, the anointed one. The one that God sent to save and deliver the world. He said unto them, How then does David in spirit call him Lord? Saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? So they're talking about literally, uh, literal stuff. Uh -huh. Because Jesus is greater than David. And so even though he's the lineage of David, uh, and his direct lineage here, line, uh, uh, lineage here on earth, uh, offspring of King David, uh, who is this king that set the standard, praise God, in Israel, among God people. So, so he questioned them and, and shook them up there, uh, because he is the he is the Christ, the anointed one. And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. Praise God. Now you're going to be wiser than your creator. Mm. How is the house wiser than the, the, the builder or the carpenter? Uh, uh, how is the car wiser than uh, the, uh, the, the, the mechanics that put it together? Uh, we can't be wiser than God. God created us. Jesus Christ himself is God. All right, now let's get to the song. Praise God. Mm. When we get, when, when I get there, when you get there. Are you planning to get there? To heaven? Praise God. Christ, so he wash away your sin so you can go to heaven come on again 
Lord Jesus Christ, you are my hiding place. You are my hiding place. In the shelter of your presence, I took my my place. You are my hiding place. Let's bring it home one more time. Now. Jesus Christ, you are our hiding place. Come on, our. You are our hiding place. In the shelter of your love, we find our place. You are our hiding place. Use all that we have. Set us free. All eternity. All right, let's get to the song. Praise God. When I get there, when you get there, I know you don't want to miss out on heaven. How can you miss out on heaven? Uh, are you looking for get there? People talk the world. Are you looking for to get over there? there? Are you looking for to be over there? Are you looking for to be over there? I'm looking forward to see you there. With this in mind, we're going somewhere. No, run for your life like you don't care. Seriously, run for your life like you don't care. Run for your life like you don't care. That's it. Are you looking forward to be there? Are you looking forward? When I get there, I will sing and shout. When I get there, sing hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. When I get there, people try to work my woman and boys and girls. When I this is it for all of us. I said, when I get there, when I get there. I will sing and shout when I get there. Sing it. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord when I get there. One more time. When I get there. When I get there. I will sing and shout when I get there. Hallelujah, praise be the Lord, may I get We're talking about heaven, new heaven and new earth, that they tell us about in Revelation. Mm. Read it for yourself, Isaiah chapter 11 and 12, Revelation chapter 13, Revelation chapter 14, Revelation chapter 19. 21, 22. Come on again. When I get there, when I get there, when we get there, we will sing and shout. When I get there, sing hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. When I get there, mm, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna ring out those golden bells. When I get there, gonna ring me out those golden bells. When I get there, all my sorrows will be over. Heavenly joy will come over. Ring out those golden bells. When I get there, eh? come on, I'm gonna ring out those heavenly bells. When I get there. Ring out those heavenly bells when I get there. All my sorrows will be over and heavenly joy come over. 
Bring out those 70 bells when I get in. Come on again, that's it. Bring out those golden bells when I get in. Come on, ring, ring. Bring out those golden bells when I get in. My sorrows will be over and heavenly joy come over. Bring out those golden bells when I get there. How about this one? When I get to heaven, when I get to heaven, I will see my father seated on his throne. When I see Jesus, King Jesus seated on his throne, oh, what a glory that will be. Oh, what a glory, glory. Glory, hallelujah, when I see my Jesus seated on his throne. When I see King Jesus seated on his throne, oh, what a glory that will be. Sing it one more time with me. When I get to heaven, when I get to heaven, I will see my Father seated on his throne. When I see King Jesus seated on his throne, oh, what a glory that will be! Oh, what a glory, 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 hallelujah! When I see my Father seated on his throne, when I see Jesus. See there on his throne. Oh, what a glory that will be. People throughout the world, even one, one man, woman, boys and girls. Well, I said, ring a ling, they join and ring. In the hymn, they join me and sing. Long thing is heavenly song. Heavenly song we sing. Sing, sing, the sing, sing to him. Sing, sing. Ring a ling. Let me show you something. No. I said, Are you looking to be over there? I said, Are you looking forward to get over there? Are you looking forward to be over there? I'm looking forward to see you there. With that in mind, we're going somewhere. People run to you. I said, Thank you. People try to wear Boys, you to run for your life like you don't care. Let me give the light to Jesus Christ. Give the light to Jesus Christ. Going somewhere. Come on. When we get to heaven, when we get to heaven, we will see our Father, see our Father seated on the throne. Listen, when I see King Jesus seated on his throne. Oh, what a glory that will be. Oh, what a glory, 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 hallelujah. When we see our Savior seated on his throne. Oh, when I see King Jesus seated on his throne. Oh, what a glory that will be. People talk the world. Mm -hmm. And boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Now listen up. I'm gonna ring out those golden bells when I get there. Ring out those golden bells when I get there. My sorrows will be over. And heavenly joy come over. Ring out those golden bells when, when I get there. Gonna ring out those heavenly bells when, when I get there. Ring out those heavenly bells when, when I get there. The rose will be over. My heavenly joy come over. Ring out those heavenly bells. When I get me, when I get to heaven, 
When I get to heaven, I will see my father seated on his throne of gold. When I see Jesus seated on his throne, oh, what a glory that will be! Oh, what a glory, 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 hallelujah! When I see my father seated on his throne. When I see King Jesus seated on his throne, oh, what a glory that will be. Hallelujah, King Jordan. Hallelujah. Love my boys and girls. You are my hiding place. You are my hiding place. In the shelter of your love, I find my place. You are our hiding place. Lord Jesus Christ, use all that we have. Wake us up so we know that you are all you that we have. People join the world. It's terrible, terrible, beyond terrible. Lord, to miss out on eternal life through Jesus Christ. Lord, you are. Place. Go to YouTube. Mm, Robert Smith. Hell and Lake of Fire testimony. It's real. Hell is real. I experience it myself. I don't ever want to drop. I, I, I didn't even I didn't even reach down there yet. I was just dropping it out of blackness, darkness. Condemn. Feel no love. No return. When I said Jesus saved me, I came right back in my body. That's why I'm watching all these YouTube and these warnings that God give people. Because it's real. Mm. Praise God. As long as those one is according to the scripture. Yes. In the shelter of your love, I find my place. Jesus Christ, you 